Okay, now once the wing is uh, sanded and the leading edge has been roughly shaped, wing tips again roughly shaped, the first shaping sanding session. Uh, once that's done, uh, what you want to do is uh, one surface at a time, either the top or the bottom, it doesn't matter. Um, you want to lay on the first application of spackle. And again, this is my Sherwin Williams shrink free spackle paste, this stuff right here. And it's uh, it's applied directly from the tub. In other words, I don't I don't add any water it on the initial pass. We just go with the uh, spackle right out of the tub and uh, apply it with uh, uh, where'd the paddle go? Uh, here it is. I use this paddle for the uh, wing wider applications. Smaller applications, I've got a smaller application paddle, and this is for touch-up. So this one I'd use if there were little chinks here and there after after we um, sand this through. And actually, this it's fully laid on like this twice, uh, straight from the tub, laid on thick. That happens twice. This will be uh, allowed to dry and then sanded, and we'll apply it again same way. Wait till it dries and sand it. And that's alternating between the top and the bottom. So as soon as, as soon as, in other words, as soon as this initial coating is dry and sanded, then I'll flip the wing and I'll apply the underwing surface. But both sides, the top and bottom, will get two complete applications like this, and then be sanded. And uh, in that case, at that time, we'll be going to the lighter grades of sandpaper. We'll go from the um, 80 grit, 60, 80 grit, down to a 120 uh, grit and down to, down to a 180 uh, grit on the third application. And then after that, the spackle will be applied wet. And that's when I just take a doll upon the finger, dip it in water, and then fin roughly finger paint, paint it over the whole surface. And then after all that's done, if there are any small uh, voids or, or gaps or areas that need addressing, that's what the little uh, spatula is for. Okay, so this is uh, how we do, this is how we apply it, nice and thick, uh, cake frosting almost. Um, and again, why we do it twice is for areas in between here where you see it looks a little dry versus the heavier uh, coated areas. So double, uh, twice this application to, should take care of getting an even application, if you will, of the filler. And then subsequent applications of filler and sanding make sure we get a nice even coating of the spackle overall. And then once the third application goes on, then we start uh, painting on the sand and seal in between the wet coats. So before the first wet coat of spackle goes on, uh, we brush on one layer of sand and seal. And that's just to help protect from the water that I'm using in the, um, in the spackle paste. This stuff here uh, more or less waterproofs, or at least keeps it from soaking into the wood and raising the grain too high. This stuff will get, prevents too much of that. <clears throat> Enough that we can sand it smooth, but not too much. Okay, so um, anyway, I'll, I'll follow this up with uh, more videos uh, on this process. We'll do this wing um, pretty much on camera. Okay, thanks. You guys have a great day.